you need to let me talk. I have said nothing all day. <laughs> Joy and I are like the least of all the people backstage. We actually get along the best because we always want to watch news after and still talk about yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. Right. And anytime it's it's this makes my head explode, which, by the way, I hope Democrats do run a Democratic Socialist. You which hope is that just, we win? Do you win? Do you uh, the Democrats no, because I think you'll lose spectacularly, and then I will look forward to election night when I finally get to tell everybody I told you so if you end up running a radical. I personally believe. Problem with socialism, in the words of Margaret Thatcher, at a certain point you run out of spending other people's money. Venezuela. South Africa and uh, the Iraq, everywhere like such as. Venezuelan has lost 24 pounds because they're starving to death. 90% of I the country is to, like, is Scandinavia. I think she's talking more about Scandinavia than Venezuela. I, but, uh, and I believe that they should. I'm sorry, I need, this is what I need from her. Name one country that socialism has ever worked. Also, every Sweden. every democratic socialist Copenhagen, who is going um, on TV Denmark, saying that it's good Norway, needs to start paying 90% in taxes Iceland. on your tax form. Because uh, some people out there. Uh, no yeah. way can be related in any way comparably to the United States of America. Sorry, comparing the United States of America to a small country in Europe can is I delusional. And the U.S. should help the U.S. so we will be able to build up our future. Go ahead. It's semi because it's yes. petrifying to me that Go this ahead. is being normalized. All right. All right. Thank you very much. They have just given this enormous tax break to the very, very wealthy in this country. Mm -hmm. that, that tax break doesn't have to be so generous to those really rich people, does it? Because if you don't give that money to them, what happens to that money? Better schools, I better think, post office, I'm sorry, better garbage pickup, better people. Pick better if you think that, if you but now he may be taking the fall for the Robert Porter domestic abuse scam. Mm -hmm. Kelly says that he was shocked, mm. shocked, I tell you. Mm -hmm. But why is Kelly so shocked, shocked? What you rolling your eyes for? Well, we shouldn't make levity of, of this. We're talking about the abuse of a woman. I mean, look at that photo. Two. We should not be laughing. Kelly. Or We're, talking We're talking about, about Kelly. We're not talking about one abuse right now. Don't say something like that. Girl, why are you going backwards? It's like it's like we are laughing and making We are laughing and him being shocked. It's not, it's very serious. Well, and as a Republican, I am offended. I think you're a fucking terrible sister because I'm not on here to fucking hide around the corners and be like, hey girl. As a Democrat, think... I'm offended by Republicans. Okay? You know what? Oh, look, 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 ladies. So, let's, 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 let's talk about the issue at hand. You're offended by Republicans. So all we, Republicans probably and everywhere. Much. Offended by me sitting here. I'm offended I'm a by a party that backs a racist. That, oh my uh, that... God. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, Megan. 72% of the Republican Party thinks you know, he's a good role model. I'm actually looking forward to talking about this in a way that yeah. is respectful yeah. and not being told that just because I'm a Republican, I'm offending you. I'm just sick of having the same argument about how I'm mean because I'm telling them the truth to their faces. I'm trying to give you my Because 72% of them are backing you... a racist and, and somebody who has abused women. That's why. That's why. Do you know that? Do you know that my father was accused of being racist? And Your Romney father is not in the Republican Party Jeb, of today, darling. And Jeb Bush was accused. But you're talking about those people are not in today's Republican well, now Party. He is admitting that they have this relationship yeah. in reference to Stormy Daniels. I mean, I you think know, today is Melania's birthday. Obvious. Happy birthday, Melania. I know. I know. That was necessary. Come on. That's so yeah. mean. Oh. We what was mean about it? Because, because what was mean said, about it, Megan? Because Tell me her, what was mean. Time out. Hold up. Hold up, sweetheart. Let's get it together before you want to read. You think that was appropriate? Yesterday we all talked about how we collectively like Melania. And I do like her. a hard thing. So it's you're, a, you're making a, fun of her pain. I'm not making fun of her. You are. Where did this bitch get from? You are. You know and what? that is just what you, you know just what? did. You, know, you have no sense of humor. Because you are not that kind of girl. Maybe everything I've had, I've worked for and I've gotten myself. i built myself from the ground up. Bitch! But I don't have a sense of humor. It's because I feel bad for our first lady and all this, which we I thought covered yesterday. I think, well, and I mean, I it's about him and what a jerk he is. He is yes. a jerk, but I think to like point out, happy birthday, Melania, your life totally blows. We're gonna talk about it on national television. She's aware how bad this is. I wish she would understand who the target of my jokes is. <laughs> <laughs> that, well, that the audience didn't, right over your the head. audience didn't laugh either. Oh. Hey, hey. No, no. I mean, they, well, it's, they it's responded a bad joke, in a. Maybe. So okay. what? So everything that I've had, I've worked for. And I worked for to get. Oh, sue me. Send okay, me so jail. here's the deal. 
You need a lot of laws. I mean, the fact that some of these crazies all have guns is kind of, you know, and they're, not about, they're not about love and understanding anymore. It's about laws. Mm -hmm. Change the laws, you change the behavior. House, Texas Church, San Bernardino, and now the Tree of Life Synagogue. What yeah, do all of those things Devin have in Kelly common? at the Texas AR Church stopped a shooting from happen. Again, I didn't think we were going to have a conversation about AR-15s, but I'm happy to. I wanted to have a conversation about tolerance. So go ahead. Well, what you decide you which one you want. As a gun owner and NRA member, we're demonized to such a degree after... I won't even... Fine, you're not even looking at me. I mean, I just... I hate... Because I'm thinking of the 60s and 70s and how the Black Panthers and the Weathermen had a lot of guns and suddenly the NRA put in gun control. It's interesting, isn't it? Well, let me well, do you want to define to me what here. an assault rifle is? Just I'm, define it. Anyone at the like table. A, it looks like a machine gun that did kill uh, a lot of people. Machine guns have been banned. How much responsibility do they have? And does the media have to take care? Hmm. The media should stop covering those rallies of his. That, that's my one recommendation. It just, it just empowers him more. Yeah, that seems like a logical response to that question. I mean, come on, we're talking about social media's impact, mm -hmm. and we jump to Trump's rally. I jump so, wherever again, I damn please, choose. okay? Hey, yeah. let me say, that's twice. Let me say that. Not the topic. But that's but twice. I'm not allowed to change the subject if I want to. I just thought we were talking about social media. All right, so you I'm, talk about it then. No, well, I'm so fine. Gas. Go ahead. You mentioned Interesting, gas. this um, NBC Wall Street Journal poll talked about characteristics of voters find enthusiastic mm -hmm. or they're comfortable with. They're top of the list, an African-American, second, a white man, <coughs> uh, third, a woman, and fourth, gay lesbian. Mm -hmm. So it's not nearly as, as taboo as I think maybe old, old, old adages may have thought. Mm -hmm. What I also found fascinating at the very, very, very bottom, only 25% of Americans are comfortable with a socialist becoming president. How many? So 25%, that's it. Well, and when, like they, said, when they realize what that means, they'll get them uh, around. Please, uh, people are smart, okay? So, so I'm just I. saying, do you know what's helping Pete boot it? So am I. So am I. But there's a difference okay, between disagree. socialist and You disagree that I'm smart? No, I disagree with the idea right. that socialism Damn. is a bad thing. Are you listening? The way they're well, <laughs> democratic so Damn. The, yeah, the way they Democratic describe it socialist. makes it sound like we're all going to be in Venezuela. That's not what it is. That's it. I mean, well, voters we have no more time. It's, 2020. It's so it just this Some is other so day ridiculous. we'll discuss it. I but today, Pelosi when she's not here, I mean, it's just I'm just trying to explain to you the other side and why he's a great candidate and why Democratic Socialists could be leading you towards the path towards Trump getting reelected. But instead, I'm told that I don't understand what Democratic Socialism is. I assure you, Joy, I do. Security advisor Tricia Newbold is blowing the whistle on 25 people who were given clearance, even though they were rejected for reasons ranging from criminal conduct to drug, drug use. It never ha none of this happens in the Obama. I've never been people say if this was Obama. Nothing like this, even remotely close, ever happened in that administration. But you know, I completely think, scandal free. I, I think th this type <laughs> I don't of know thing. About that. And, and, do you uh, know a scandal? Can you re name a scandal? Yes, but I don't want to do this with you this morning. <laughs> I'd like to hear a scandal that. But was I think the more, Obama right now the Iran deal, number one. I mean, that's I, not a scandal. Billions of dollars in unmarked bills in the middle of the night given to Iran. Yeah, that's a big scandal. That was well, their money. Was a bunch of other things. That I mean, was their money. I told you I didn't want to do this. I gotta get out of here. Again, even just pointing out the fact that I don't think socialism is a winning adage for Democrats is a big issue this morning. I think part of the problem is feels very judgmental. Is because you're lecturing all of us about us not thinking okay, it was a pristine very, administration. I gotta get out of here. Calm down. Get a hold of yourself. Just, please let me handle this. <laughs> Lies about Republicans are evil. Lies about Trump I am not giving praise to this administration. I'm, 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 I'm Calm down. I'll get back to your seat. I'm saying the Republicans are evil. I am a Republican. I'll take care of this. Calm down. Calm down. Get a hold of yourself. And I'm saying, I'm telling you, the, I'm telling you, it is how we got Trump, and it's how you're going to reelect him. Doctor, you're on the phone. When he is reelected, which at this point I believe he is going to be, everything's going to be all right. I hope at some point oh you will listen to the warning. Oh my God, I have to make an opinion. I have given all of you. Okay, well, look, I'm, I'm used to the audience. Hey, this is really not <laughs> kicked off his 2020 campaign at a rally in Florida yesterday. The arena was completely packed, and uh, I looked it up they afterward, and yeah. I, I don't think so. Mm. It did happen. <laughs> it's not fake news. It's that they hate the same things Trump hates. That's what's going Who, on. Black as people, well. you mean? And no, I mean... Who do they hate? Who do they you hate? Know what? You know what, Joy? I really who come here hate? every day open-minded right. just trying to explain it. Okay. And it's not a fun job for but me every day. But who do they hate? I know you're angry. 
I you get it that angry. you're angry that Trump's president, like a lot of people are. I'm angry are, about every single thing he's doing. But I don't think yelling at me is going to fix the problem, okay? I just said that it was hard for me to watch. Her? Yes. I just said it was hard for me to watch Lindsey but, Graham, but who I considered an uncle for a long time. Yeah, but then okay? you're talking about the Trump but supporters. I'm trying as to if they don't have okay, so 2020 is not in the bag here's, for you. But an it's not. The, the question. The, who did okay, hate? guys. I'm actually looking forward to talking about this in a way that yeah. is respectful. It's but being just, a sacrificial a, Republican every day, well, oh, I'm just trying listen, to. Here's the I, thing. Oh, don't feel bad for oh, me, bitch. I paid to do this. So I wrote a book called America, You Sexy Bitch. I love the word bitch. Joy and I call each other a bitch all the time in time. I know you're comfortable with it. She knows I'm comfortable with it. I also enjoy fighting with you. I know. And she enjoys fighting with me. Stop being so precious about our relationship. And I know this is a big shock. We get along backstage. And he used to fight <laughs> on the air all the time. What's that like? I don't know. <laughs> Very different. It's a little different. But um, a little it's different. A little different. But truthfully, we never fought backstage. See, that's the difference. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Even if it gets vicious, it does it get does. vicious. I love it. It's like boxing. Yeah. So we're both rounds. we're both pugilistic. Yeah, Senator and so Amy fun. Klobuchar, can she dance and <laughs> sing at the same time? Because Maybe. she kicked off her presidential campaign in the middle of a blizzard, and Trump yeah. Trump mocked this her. This is Tweet. real. Can I get through this, yeah. please? Yeah. Tweet. So Just say it. This whole thing is so stupid. Can I say something <laughs> now? We grown folk, but. Okay. Is that okay? Yes, Would go ahead. Enjoy? Do I have yes, permission? Yes, you may now. I have permission I to speak now on Amy Klobuchar. We're all good. Megan, calm down, please. Two quick things. Number one, I have friends who are at her now. Right, no, no, by all means, keep going, Joy. No, if you're going to have a hissy fit, we can't continue. <laughs> I don't mind all the theatrics, but if you're going to be loud and rowdy, rowdy, and think you're a bowdy, bowdy bitch, stand up and be one. Look at all the weak sauce. As a candidate, he said, those who think we're powerless to do anything about the greenhouse effect are forgetting about the White House effect. And then he signed into law the Clean Air Act Amendment of 1990, one of the most sweeping environmental yeah. Yeah. statutes ever. Yeah. This president that we have now is trying to unravel everything that he did and Obama did. And if I ever become a one-issue voter, it will be about pollution and the greenhouse effect and, and the we fact focus that on the president yeah. hell no babe i want to talk about trump uh, well, I when do we're in the moment so, of excuse, we're honoring a great uh, excuse president me a second, past. please i, I want to talk about but the we're different... honoring but i'm not interested in your one issue i don't care what, what you're interested in i'm talking well, i don't care you what you're what? interested Damn in we'll either, be right back boy. Ah. okay my God. i have never been speechless in, in my whole entire life this bitch came that Kirsten Nielsen is out as Homeland Security Chief. This guy, his name is Kevin McAleenan. Mm -hmm. He's mm -hmm. the new DHS uh, guy. Mm -hmm. That he believes that these countries that they're coming from, Nicaragua, Guatemala, etc., in Central America, need to continue to get funding from the United States. Well, Why? I think it's important to separate a lot of different things. I'm from a border state, and immigration is always ground zero for where these conversations are happening. There is a crisis at the border. How to deal with it is where the, the conversation right. goes one way or the other. Together. Congratulations to our friend Joy Behar, who just hit the historic 20-year milestone on The View. Yes, it's amazing. And but like, like, like I just said, Trump like I just forward. said, this guy who's coming in wants to help those countries. Mm -hmm. That's the way to solve the problem. Keep them there happy or whatever. Solvent. Give them a house. Give them food. Help them. Help their mm -hmm. children. Even Stop the, crime. A, a Stop the crime rates. Well, we've had a I'm bunch of liberal about guests helping. who do not Hold want on. to send in aid I at all. I listen to you. Let me just mm -hmm. finish. <laughs> yeah, part of your job is to listen to me. <laughs> okay, so here's the just deal. Saying. Here's what's here's what's not going to happen today. We're and not going to do that. You're fine backstage. Joy and I are like the least of all the people backstage. We actually get along the best. What? You disagree so that I'm smart? Mean, that's so yeah. mean. Part of your job is to listen to me. Don't say uh, something and like one that. Up. Don't feel bad. Oh, I just have no sense of humor. I mean, keep going. Go no. to Trump's rally. I took so, wherever again. I damn please, Jeez. OK? Okay, you see, and I'm getting attacked, and as the person most upset right now, I am right. We got a, got a live wire. Anything's gonna set her off. Five, five, five. Down, down, no down! 